These are beautiful Cajun seasonings. Uh, you got all kinds of great stuff in there. There's salt, pepper, different spices, rosemary, oregano, basil, paprika, uh, a little bit of cumin, the onion, garlic. I mean, it's good stuff. Cajun seasonings is used very, very uh, predominantly throughout the South of the United States. We're making and some blackened chicken. A uh, very simple dish to make. When I work with chicken, I like to wear these latex gloves. And we're going to be using a boning knife. <clears throat> it's not sharp. You know what to do. Okay. When you select your chicken breasts, you're looking for nice, plump, juicy ones like these. However, you want to get some of that liquid off of there. You don't want them too wet. So this one's ready to go. And now, when I work with chicken, uh, I use a maple cutting board. Uh, maple kills the germs naturally, however, uh, it's still chicken. It can be a little slimy, so plastic is not a bad idea. I'm going to show you just, uh, just how to clean this chicken breast. Remove the uh, fat and the tough tendony parts and you want to get as much of the silver skin out of there as you can uh, so that you're not eating this stuff. It doesn't taste good. When you're grilling or blackening uh, something like this, it's a good idea to have it uniform size. So uniform size means you take it and you butterfly it slightly. There's a few reasons for this. I'm not going to touch on that too much. Okay, this is ready to go. Now, you can use your hand and pound it, or you can add another piece of plastic wrap and do a little uh, tapping. I prefer to use a meat mallet. So if you don't have one of these, you can pick them up on the site. All right, I'm going to have a nice uniform size. Looks like this is about uh, half an inch, approximately. Is a prepared chicken breast ready to use uh, Grilling, sautéing, poaching, broiling, blackening, you name it, it's ready to go. Add some uh, blackening spice, uh, same deal. If you don't have this stuff, you know where to get it. We're going to put a nice uniform amount of spices on this chicken. And whenever uh, you blacken, you want to put a little bit of uh, melted butter or olive oil on your, on your chicken. And we're going to be doing both sides very very light amount okay so we take this chicken down it goes in the Cajun all right I've got a uh, cast iron skillet ready to go right over here and uh, I'm gonna show you I'm sure this is hot wow that's hot you only put the seasonings on one side and completely and it's a good idea to turn your exhaust on because this makes a hell of a lot of smoke if you look closely you can see some of the smoke coming off the spices uh, are browning very quickly almost burning uh, the blackened chicken uh, cooks pretty quickly and I do like to add a little bit of fresh sea salt uh, to the chicken so this is it. It's completely seasoned and it's going to be ready to go. And, ah, the finished blackened chicken. Firm to the touch. It's looking I'm going good. to use a uh, slicer and a, a meat fork just because it's, it's pretty easy uh, to do. Normally, I, I like to uh, cut this into skinny slices like so. You can see the chicken's just done. Okay. Tell you what, it's nothing like having a good slicer and, uh, and fork when you want to carve something very easily and very efficiently. Okay. There it is. Uh, kind of a sweet honey mustard uh, dipping sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, carrot on the plate as well. And the carrot basically is just uh, to give give a little contrast, a little 
uh, different texture as well as color it's doing a few things I like these microplane graders by the way so they're they're nice they're handy simple to use fast and uh, wow it's just busting through that carrot you can see that okay well, now to plate this uh, normally I would serve just a few pieces maybe uh, two three four like this okay we're gonna go one two that one's kinda big three four uh, you know what we'll put number five on there too Okay, there you go. Hope you enjoyed watching. Please support your sponsor. Have a great day.